Hey guys, uh, we're going to be talking about the Parkinson's disease gait. So what is Parkinson's disease? It's um, a hypokinetic movement disorder that affects the basal ganglia. It causes the substantia nigra to not release enough dopamine, which is the neurotransmitter that helps initiate movement. This causes rigidity, stiff muscles, resting tremors, and muscle spasms. It is also called a festination gait, which is a Latin word meaning to hurry. So it describes the way the Parkinson's gait is, which is a quick shuffling gait. It's important to know why and how the lack of dopamine would affect someone with Parkinson's in their gait. So because dopamine is a neurotransmitter that helps initiate movement, um, patients who have Parkinson's have low amounts of dopamine generating cells because those cells have died and unfortunately we're not really sure why this happens. There's no conclusive evidence, um, but a lack of dopamine is equal to a lack of initiation of movement as well as muscle spasm and that is why it's so difficult for people with Parkinson's to initiate their walking. So what will their gait exactly look like? They will have a shuffling gait, um, so they have a decreased stride length, forward posture, increased cadence, increased double stance support duration, and interesting enough, they actually have a flat foot strike instead of a normal heel, heel strike like you and I have. They turn on block, so they turn kind of robotic a little bit, and of course they have a freezing gait, so they have trouble initiating gait, and then sometimes they have difficulty stopping their gait once they've started. Now stop, 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 stop. All right, try to go again. Come on, come on, stop, stop. <laughs> so what can be done to help improve the gait of someone with Parkinson's? Unfortunately, since Parkinson's is a progressive, uncurable disease, there is little that can be done to improve the gait of individuals in the later, more severe stages of the disease. However, there are a few methods that have proven to not only maintain but improve the gait of an individual with mild to moderate Parkinson's disease symptoms. External cues such as lines on the floor or music or a metronome to set a walking beat for emulation have proven to increase the step life in individuals with Parkinson's disease. Using cognitive training strategies prior to initiating movement can also be helpful to patients with Parkinson's. Techniques such as visualizing taking longer steps, visualizing walking, saying out loud long steps, or reading gait instructions off a cue card can help improve gait. It is also important to remember to do this prior to walking so the individual does not get distracted during ambulation, which could increase the risk for a fall. It may be helpful to start gait training by breaking the steps to walking down into segments. For example, a patient would just work on taking one step or just work on standing up and sitting down. There are many exercises one can do to help improve gait if they have Parkinson's. Flexibility exercises that focus on extension of the spine can help improve the forward flex posture that many people with Parkinson's experience. Flexibility exercises can also help increase balance and range of motion in the axial skeleton, which helps prevent falls. Strength exercises, such as eccentric quadriceps exercises, have shown to improve distance in the six-minute walking test. 
Individuals with Parkinson's disease typically consume more oxygen when doing everyday activities like walking. Thus, it is important for them to also do cardiovascular exercises. Patients involved in a cardiovascular training program have shown to have increased distance in their six minute walk test as well. Individuals with Parkinson's disease are at higher risk for falling. The risk increases further if the individual tries to do another task while walking or is experiencing a freezing gait. Participation in recreational activities such as the Argentinian Tango, American Ballroom Dancing, and Tai Chi has shown to improve balance in patients with Parkinson's disease. As balance issues progress, assistive devices may be necessary to help prevent falls. Such assistive devices would be single point canes, a rolling walker, or even a walking stick.